Ah. All right, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Adrian Nice. Welcome to another episode of Mouth and Out. We are in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm here with... Keaton Dotway. In the building. Yes, sir. Where are you from? I'm from Kannapolis. Kannapolis. You coming from Kannapolis? Yeah, I'm coming from Kannapolis. What is Kannapolis like for someone that's never been there? Kannapolis, it's like real, real homey. It's like, it's kind of like everybody basically know each other. It's kind of small, but it's kind of a better way to be, you feel me? Right. So would you rather stay there or like in like the city? No, I might rather stay in the city because okay. of net- networking opportunities and Ooh. stuff like that. But sometimes it's like it feel good to be at home. You feel me? Where you can relax. Because I stay on the outskirts too. I stay like more towards like Indian land, like Fort Mill, Ballantyne area, whatever. Outskirts. Yeah. Uh, not directly in the city. Uh, so you do music? Yeah, I do music. I'm a producer. You're a producer. Uh, how long you been producing? I've been producing seriously, I say since like my freshman year of high school. So I say probably when I was about fourteen, I'm eighteen now. Are you graduated or you I'm about graduated? To, so you just graduated? Yeah, I graduated. Right Congratulations, now. my thank guy. You, what? No nah, facts, because you know, some people don't graduate, some people don't even go to high school type stuff. You trying to go to college for um, music or are you diving straight in? I'm diving straight in. Diving straight in. That's a fact. Um are you linked with a studio right now? Uh, not currently. I'm thinking about uh, a little bit of stuff with Maximus. I'm thinking about some internship. Look, Maximus is fire. Super official. They have some, uh, I don't <laughs> know any names right now, but they have like celebs, heavy hitters that came through, some very legendary people, um, and, and they custom make all of their equipment too. Word. So like, um, like the dude, one of the owners is two brothers. Like he went in, hand built his uh, compressors, he hand-built the speakers, he hand-built a lot of their stuff. So, like, he really knows what he's doing. Um, and, yeah, he's got, like, a little program. He's got a oh, yeah. he told, school he told program. Up. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm like, really? <laughs> do that. Do that. It's some people. I, I, this girl on TV, she was a beat maker, and it, the show was being filmed in L.A., but she brought up Maximus. I was like, okay, right. we on the map <laughs> type stuff. So that's dope. How did you find out about Maximus? Uh, actually, I was over there with um, he was getting something recorded over uh, one of my beats. It was mm-hmm. going over with, but uh, yeah. And then we started chopping up some people, and you know, it was just next thing you know. Yeah, I'm like that's what I should take advantage of at this point. So, do you have like a? Well, what do you make your beats on? I make it on a MacBook Pro. I use Logic Pro X. Logic. Yeah, I use a bit of Logic and a bit of FL because FL I use, you know, like different sound pack. Or yeah, that and kind of like. Being able to flip samples. I like flipping samples and changing speed and pitch through FL because it like it keeps more info in there instead of like making pop sounds and other things like that. Is there like a um I don't do you have like a signature sound or like is there a signature thing that you do? Uh I like to layer my snares a lot. And then also it's like I usually stick with the darker sound because it's just what comes naturally to me. Facts. Yeah, for sure. No, that's fire. That's fine. Who's some artist that you know that just been hopped on your uh, beats that you uh, want to shout out? That's right now, Long Live Wolf, uh, <laughs> Certified Dante, and I got one more in the works, but we still working on that. So now, are your beats more towards like trap, hip hop, rap type stuff, yeah, or is it trap. melodic, or is it like R and B, or is it like all of the above? Honestly, I make just about anything. If you want me to make it, I got it. So now if a country artist come up to you and be like, hey, yeah, so I'm going to get it done. <laughs> gonna get it. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear, for sure. I ain't scared of no challenge. <laughs> yeah, facts. It'll be experience, but hey, it's going to teach me something at the end of the day. That's a fact, too. Um, what do you, Where do you want to take like your beat-making producer and um, skills career? Uh, as of right now, I just want to make it into like a living. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to do something that I love for mm-hmm. a living, so then I don't got to be... Stressing about this, stressing about that. I mean, it's going to be stressful in some points, but, you know, getting there is really my main objective now. Thanks. Well, I ain't mad at it, man. I, I definitely wish you the best. Um, anything else you want to tell the audience? And then what's your social media? Uh, I was going to tell y'all, y'all going to see me soon enough because I'm going to be up there 100%. I promise you that. But my Instagram is keidren.wave, K-E-I-D-R-E-N dot W-A-V. And... There you guys have it. I'm your host, Adrian Nice. This is Miles and Out. Make sure y'all tap on with him for a beat. Make sure y'all give it a listen. And we out. Peace. Oh. 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 Oh.